All right, my name is Emil Christensen, and I'm the CMO and co-founder of a company called Sleeknote. In Sleeknote, we help businesses like yours generate more sales and more leads. And before we continue, yes, my name is Emil, and I'm from Denmark, and I heard about Emil from Lönneberg. I heard about it a lot throughout my childhood. It was also a big thing in Denmark. Sleeknote is a tool that enables you and us as marketeers to create one of these pop-up and slide-ins. But if you take, like, raise our hands here, how many have seen an annoying pop-up in their life? <laughs> so nobody. Uh, yes, that is the biggest challenge that we're facing on a daily basis. So if you look at your left right now and say hello to the person quickly, <laughs> and you look on your right and say hello again, you just met someone that built an annoying pop-up. It is us that's building them. So please, let's fix that. And that's what I'm here today to talk about and how we can improve that and how pop-up and slide-ins can actually be used for something useful instead of just, let's get some leads. Uh, let's have a competition that nobody wins. Let's try to change that. Let's try to use pop-up and slide-ins to something that's useful for our visitors. So imagine a world where you can actually create a pop-up or a slide-in that's based on your data on your website. So instead of just having one pop-up on your entire site that say, sign up to my competition with 100,000 else and you might win 200 Danish or Swedish crowns, what if we could make it a little bit more useful and trigger it based on data? Well, most of you, luckily, when I've been to a lot of your websites, have Google Tag Manager, and if you don't, Write that on the top of your notes right now. You should go home and implement that. Google Tag Manager, here you can collect all of your data. So you can collect data as variables. For example, here, if you have an e-commerce site, we are a B2B company and we use it for everything as well. But here's an example from, a, from an e-commerce site where it's like uh, add to carts. So what did they add? What is the product name? What is the brand? What is the category? What is the amount? And what is the quantity? And so on. So we send the data to Google Tag Manager, and when you send the data to Google Tag Manager, you can also send it to third-party systems like ours or Facebook or something else. So now you can actually target someone based on the data that you have on a website so you don't just treat everyone alike. If I'm going into a website together with all of you at the same time, we would probably have a different customer journey. Some of you have maybe been there before, some of you have maybe bought something before, even if it's a B2B site. Some of you have maybe heard about them before, been there before, seen multiple pages. We need different approaches to it, both from a pop-up thing, that's a small thing actually, but also from the website, customize the website from the data you already have. So in our system, we made it pretty simple that you can trigger a slide in or a pop-up based on the name of the variable in Google Tag Manager and then a value. So for example, you want to trigger a pop-up or a slide in based on how much did they add to the card? So if they added five things to the cart, we'll trigger something. Or if, they added, if they've been here multiple times and they bought before, we'll trigger a slide-in or a pop-up. So what can it be used for? And it's important for me to say that this is not just sleek note. Like You can do that in any system. So I'm just here today to try to save the world for annoying pop-ups, which all of you, hopefully, you're the ones building them. Uh, and I've been one as well. Uh, we started as e-commerce managers ourselves, and I remember the days where I was thinking, I need more email signups. Let me create an annoying pop-up like everyone else, and let me get some email signups. Let's change that. So a way to do that with a slide in here, as you can see in the example, is an e-commerce store where they're selling socks, which is pretty simple. But in this case here, maybe I added two pairs of socks to the, to the cart. And when I added those two pairs, I get a slide in that says, you know what? If you add two more, I'll give you one for free. But in most cases, they'll have a pop-up. When I come to the site, it's the first time I get there, and I just, I just landed there. From I, They just spent 20 Swedish crowns on me to get there on Google AdWords, and I'll have a pop-up saying, hey, you want 20% discount? And I just arrived there. It's like, no, I just want to look around first, and maybe this could be an example of how you get some upsells without being annoying, because I just added two to the cart. Now I want to see a slide in that notified me about something where I'm like, yeah, that might be something I want, because then I get one for free. That's actually 20% off. That's example number one. 
Example number two, again an e-commerce example, but use your imagination here if you're a B2B site. In the cart, if you add something to the cart, hopefully a lot of people add something to your cart. And if, as you know, the biggest problem is that people often leave this cart. Uh, look at your competi uh, competitors and so on. You can trigger a pop-up based on exit intent and a lot of sites does this, but the problem when they do it is like they have a generic one saying, hey, wait, 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 wait a second, uh, let me offer you something. But the problem is they're not looking at the data they have in the cart. So if you look at the data, you can be much more relevant. This is even a more generic example where if they have a high amount, you can say, oh, by the way, you, you're actually qualified for free shipping, so you can get this for free, uh, free shipping. Or if they have a really high amount, you can say, you know what, I'll, I'll add a 10% discount to it. Or if they have a low amount, you can say, you know what, if you add a little bit more, you can get free shipping. So use the data you have on your site already to trigger it. A third example here is to show relevant product recommendations. So let's say you added a basic tease to the cart or you actually bought one or something like that and you come back to the site and you know what, a pair of jeans is a good match for it. Here are three examples of how you can use it and go check a look at it. That's a way to use your data in a more intelligent way than just showing, here's a pop-up, here. here's, here's our new jeans, but maybe I just bought a pair of jeans. Um, maybe that's not what I've been looking for at all. Example number four, a lot of you have a confirmation page. Either it's on your contact page or it's, it's on your, like when you, someone bought something from you, there's a confirmation page. That is the one place where the visitor has committed the most to you and most people don't use this well enough. They just, okay, it's confirmed, here's your order number, that's it. That is the best place you can use for actually either upselling or get them to answer even more questions. We've seen amazing results with actually just showing a pop-up to those that have converted already. They are so excited about you because they just ordered something. They probably, sorry to say, they're never gonna be that excited about you again. Sorry, that is the truth for most, uh, us included, but you can trigger a pop-up here saying, you know what, thanks for buying a tablet here. If you're gonna take this survey here, we're gonna give you, I don't know, two months of free Netflix or whatever, that's a fit for you, or we're just gonna have a simple slide and saying, what are the one thing that we could improve or you didn't uh, have enough information about? And we've seen amazing results for this. This is actually something that's useful both for you, but it's also possible for those that just bought to give some feedback and that feedback is so valuable. Number five, and this is again, hopefully a lot of you have customer service. I'm sorry this is in Danish. This is a Danish example of a B2B site. So when the customer service is there, like from eight to four o'clock, it will have a slide in when you have visited, I think it's 10 or 11 pages, or have been there for more than four minutes or something like that. Then it triggers. It doesn't trigger when I get in there from AdWords and it's like, oh, do you need some help? No, I just want to look around, please. That's like getting into a physical store and as they always ask straight away, that's fair enough, then I know they're there, but sometimes I just wish they would just wait like just 30 seconds. And that's the same that we can do here. Just wait a little bit until maybe now it's time to ask, do you need some help? Then we are always available here. And if some of you think, well, what's, then what do we do when our customer service is not there? Well, you'll have another one, so it's scheduled by time, so you'll have another one saying, you know what, you have some questions about a product or anything like that, just enter information here and we will give you a call as quickly as possible. That is a useful slide in. It's not useful if it slides in or pop up when I get there right away. But it's useful if I've been there for five minutes, or I've seen 20 pages, and I haven't really decided about anything. This is for me what I see as the future of slide and pop-ups, match your design, and think about the user journey instead of thinking about leads and conversions. Lead and conversion will happen naturally if you are useful. Number six, so with the data you have in Google Tag Manager or other systems, you can actually pre-qualify leads based on what they're looking at or what they have been looking at. So we're helping a lot of fashion brands with getting more leads. And 
the natural problem that always is the first thing is like, okay, but how do we difference gender? Like, is, should it be a radio button? Should it be a drop down or anything like that? Actually, no. If you have the data, you can see patterns. If it's a, if in, in this case here, it's a, it's a men, and another case here is a woman. Well, you can pre-qualify that and have a slider that matches their needs and just having one that's for everyone. And say, oh, you have to choose the gender. Well, if I'm looking at woman underwear, probably, like, it could be me looking for something for my girlfriend, but most likely it's someone that's in this area here that we want to target. So use your data to pre-qualify and have relevant slide-ins instead of just having one generic one. So that's it for me today. For me, our vision is just to change the way and hopefully have less hands going up when it's, we're talking about annoying pop-ups. That is our biggest vision. We have a booth out there. We're Danish, but we don't bite. We don't bite. Uh, we're just out here. We bought some books as well uh, that we wrote ourselves, Built to Scale, which is one of the most popular e-commerce uh, e books at the moment. It's normally 100 euros, but we bought 100 of them here. So hopefully you'll think that we don't bite and come out and get a book. And let's have a talk about e-commerce and how we can develop here in Scandinavia. So hopefully we don't have to raise our hands for annoying pop-ups again. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>